Yeah, so just something that you know really came through with this yoga routine this wasn't from anyone it was from literally being connected into the earth just doing one simple movement and then just following my internal my own guidance whether that's from source whether that's from you know higher power whatever you believe in whatever you can resonate with your own intuition and I think the reason why I'm saying this is because we can we can give our power away so much so easily to um, just always thinking that you've got to learn from this outward this outward space like for instance going to school you're going to read out of a textbook you're going to read what's on the board you're going to think that educating yourself and gaining knowledge and wisdom is always from this outer perspective whereas when you meditate and you do breath work you do yoga whatever whatever ways these are the ways how i've connected to it you've got your own knowledge you've got your own universal knowledge that is inside of you you can quieten the mind you can find your inner peace and you listen to the voice that is guiding you that is guiding you through different processes you know you might have gone through a difficult phase in life you know a loss of a relationship someone you truly loved or you might lose someone in the family someone you know a real big influence on you and that was the person that was guiding you and then you you think that you're going to lose that connection with them whereas when you go inward you know you can still hear their voice you can still have their you know them guiding you and i'm just sharing this because this is something that you know last year before the first mma bout i lost my granddad you know it was a, a massive um massive influence on my life um you know and i i always have his voice in my head with certain different aspects of like you know embracing struggle you know always pushing on there's a funny story when i when i broke my leg one time and um <laughs> and i went back i went back in, into the house i got carried into the house and he was just like just get up and walk there's there's nothing wrong with you but there was so i broke my leg <laughs> but the funny thing about that is it's like that was his mindset that was that old school generational mindset that just to keep pushing on to have build that resilience yes it's good to talk about what's going on inside of us because we're you know we're sharing but if you're constantly obsessed with speaking about what's going on in your life as in as in you're in a victim mentality then your words are creation so you're going to be creating a reality for yourself that is just it's going to keep you in that mindset it's going to keep you in that you know it's going to help you it's going to not help you sorry overcome what you need to overcome so really finding your inner strength no matter what you're going through finding your courage and your bravery to not just push on to feel it to allow it to be felt but then not letting yourself be drowned by the circumstances know that you're going to build resilience know that know that you're always going to gain wisdom at the end of pain um, and i think that's something that i really learned from you know lose not losing that man but um from that man being in my been in my life and then him not being in my life and that's someone i love dearly um and yeah i just really wanted to share that with you guys as well so peace out Okay, so we're just running through this routine. It's going to help really process any negativity, help shift it out the body, you know, help find our inner peace, and then also get it out of the cold water. We want to make sure we're nice and warm. So this is just a nice routine to help you go through it. Okay, so we're just going to start off in a seated position, as low as you can go. Get nice and low, keeping the weight. So we want to make sure that the weight is on our heels here. I'm digging my elbows into my knees. 
and I'm just simply breathing through the process in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out the nose. As long as it's coming, as long as the inhale is coming from in the nose, it doesn't matter where the exhale is. Okay, and we're just gonna raise up into a squat position, which is just a few inches, shifting the weight onto the heel still, feeling it in the glutes. And then from this position, we're going to bring our shoulder blades together here. We're going to activate all the upper back here as well. Activate the core. Extend the arms out. Push away. Feel it in the lats. Keep the weight on the back of the heel. Extend the arms out. From here we're going to raise up, rise all the way up, turn the wrists, deep breaths, breathe, breathe, turn the wrists, extend all the way up as far as you can, breathe, breathe, it's all in the mind, it's uncomfortable, yes, but that's part of the process. Arms back out wide, arms together, back in, down into the first position. Again, pushing the elbows into the knees, focusing nicely on the breath. We're going to go through this process twice more. Sets, I like to call it the bodybuilder will always remain in me. <laughs> okay, and extend up into that squat position, connecting the upper back together, the shoulder blades together, extend out. Rise up, breathe. Twist the wrist and breathe. Arms out, arm back in, and down into the lower position again. Leg will be on fire now. That's part of the process. We want to get nice and warm. This is great for in the mornings. Start your day. Great for when you get out of cold water. It's going to help improve the ankle joints, the knee joints. Rise up, arms out, connecting the upper back together, breathe, and rise up, breathe, turn the wrists, arms out, arms together, back down, Okay, and then just shift the weight onto your hands. Weight onto your toes there. Weight onto your hands. And then just dig your elbows into the inside of your knees. Feet slightly raised up. Heel off the floor. And then pushing away with the hands. that in the hamstrings, feel the stretch, breathe, nice deep breaths, breathe, breathe, nice deep breath in, 
expand, hold, turn the wrists, and then just lean back, slight touch, feel it in the abs. Bring everything together. ourselves back into our body. And there we have it. And that's how to just uh, nice and warm after the cold water. How to shift any toxins out of the body. And most of all, just feeling amazing. And that's a hard workout, trust me. That's not easy, you'll find that. <laughs> Peace out people, have a good one. Yeah, it's not easy that routine, like, at all. <laughs> it's challenging. The one thing I have noticed on it as well, is your squat depth in the gym. Everything seems a lot more comfortable. You're able to go a little bit lower as well. It's little things like that you wouldn't normally think that would make such a difference to, you know, your weightlifting routine as well. Um, but yeah, always been open to, to new things coming in and it pays off.